Hello everybody, this is Lilla in Hawaii. I made a little hasif, and um, if you don't know what that word is, it's an old word that means sewing essentials booklet or pocketed um, holder or something like that. And in the old days, it was caught in the 1800s, I think it was. It became a hasif, or maybe even before, and it means housewife. So this is one of the handy keepers that you used to have in those days and they can be really any shape or size but the main thing is that they have pockets and they have places to store you know basically a portable sewing kit I find they can be used for jewelry keepers or notebook keepers or all sorts so let me show you this one this one is made of silk and I tea dyed it tea dyed everything actually. Some of the things I tea dyed before, some of them I did later. And I'm going to show you how I did this, the label, the flower, and inside, if you look inside, there's a pocket here, a pocket here, and there's a big pocket here. Inside this particular pocket, I put a button card, and I'm going to show you an easy way to make a button card without having to sew every button on separately. It's up to you, though, if you're making them. I want it to be kind of lazy, so let me put the camera down, and I'll start. The first thing I did was I made this flower, and the way I did it was I took... I took a button card that I printed off the internet, actually. I think it was on one of the sewing sites. And then I have a button card, an old one, and I'm going to cut off all the bits of that. And then I just simply glue that in the center, like so. And it could go this way or this way. I kind of like it straight on. So that's the button card that I put inside. Just lay that aside. The next thing I made was the flower. This flower. And I, it was very easy to make. All I did was I took some seam binding. Just move that aside. And I started to make a rosette. Where am I here? There's a rosette. And if you haven't seen how they're made, you make a coil for the center and then you simply just roll back, like so, just roll back to make the flower. And that's about enough. I'd started it before, of course. So there we go, so that's nice. Very simple. I don't usually cut off the seam binding till I've made my flower because I never know if I'm going to need more or, or whatever. So now I've got this, this little rosette and I've got three pieces of old doilies, crochet pieces. I'm stacking them on top of each other. And then I'm simply going to sew through this. Oh, wow. That is tough. They sure could crochet in the old days, I tell you that. It's very, very tough to get through. They don't fray much because they're so nice and tight. So basically, Over 
trying to get it squarely in the center. If it's not dead center, it's okay. Okay, so I'll just do that much because that's how I go about it. Like that. And then when it's applied, I sew it a little more to sort of adhere all that. Now the last thing I'll show you, the accents that I put inside this one, was the um, the label. And of course I did that on the machine and I'm not going to sew it finished, but I'll just show you on my machine. And because people often ask me, I do make a lot of labels. All right. I don't want to have glue dripping. Now, on my machine, it's a very old faff. And I'm going to turn it on. And let me go around here and show you. Okay, this is my old faff. I'm going to go to where it says MP here. This one. And then I go to memory, because I've already programmed a memory. And I've you can see I've put in three programs. Um, I think I'll just stay with the top one, which is highlighted, and it says Amore. I wrote uh, Amore in French and Amore in Italian. So this one's in Italian. So next I go to my machine, and I have long strips here of muslin that I tore off. Now the thing is, you sometimes need a stabilizer. By the way, here's the Amore already written. Sometimes you need a stabilizer, sometimes you don't. I start this a little bit, and that helps a lot. So the next thing is I put it down. I've got the second foot. I think it's called the open toe applique foot. It's not the standard foot that comes on your machine. It's the next one. So I've got that. And then the other thing is I press to make one program. So there's a button here where I just press once, because I don't want more than that. And then off I go and see what happens. And of course, you know, occasionally it doesn't work out and you haven't really wasted a whole lot. You just cut it off and start again. There's a moray. There's the one I just did. Can you see that? Yeah. I absolutely love this part of my sewing machine. Write all kinds of words. Here I just wrote Provence. And I do have some programs on the machine that are em look, like little embroidery motors. So what I did was I added an embroidery motor the scroll, then I added the word Provence, then I added the scroll again on the Amore, I had a little flower motive which I added first, then I added the word Amore, then I added the flower motive again to make it sort of look like a banner, and let's see what else do I have there. Now one of the things you do need to do is test it, and I tested this particular Provence. <laughs> it's pretty long. It's probably almost 12 inches long. And I thought, oh, I can fit that on this. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't even get the word Provence on there, so that's something to look at. So it pays to test it first, because you may find that you can't use it all. So anyhow, that's that. And then when I take it off here, I just cut off the part I want and I stitch around it a couple of times 
and then sometimes I put a little trim on each side there. And if I bring this back, if you look at that one. I did this in a pale of colors in the other. I did the other one in brown. This one's in a sort of a mushroomy pink. And so I, what I did was I did a moor for French, and then I put a little binding on the top and bottom and a couple of buttons to make it look like a banner. So that is the Hassif. And I'm selling it, and it's going to come with the scissors and the symbol. And I will package it all in a sewing pattern. Sewing pattern as the packaging. So of course those items will go in the pockets and then this gets tied around and tied in a bow. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope those little items that I made, the little decorations, were helpful. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.